If you or a friend has been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, did you know there's almost a 66% chance that that diagnosis is incorrect? Yeah, I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Let's talk about why this is and what you actually are suffering from, but you've been misdiagnosed as having fibromyalgia. There is currently no lab test for fibromyalgia. There's no urine test, no blood test. There's also no diagnostic imaging tests like CAT scans, MRIs, EEGs, or anything else that a doctor can check currently on the planet to verify that you have fibromyalgia. The diagnosis of fibromyalgia is given based on your symptoms, your history, and on a, a specific type of physical exam. But here's the rub. Here's why so many doctors get the diagnosis of fibromyalgia wrong. The diagnosis of fibromyalgia must be a diagnosis of exclusion. And what that means is that your doctor does need to do some diagnostic imaging tests and some blood and urine tests, not to diagnose fibromyalgia, but to diagnose things that can masquerade as fibromyalgia. So let's go through the things, the other diagnoses that can masquerade as fibromyalgia and trick your doctor into falsely diagnosing you with fibromyalgia. The first is hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Both of these can mimic both the fatigue and the pain of fibromyalgia. And you've got to have lab work checked, a complete thyroid panel in order to rule this out. The next is multiple sclerosis. It can masquerade as fibromyalgia for years. An MRI of the brain will quickly differentiate these two from each other. The next is rheumatoid arthritis. It can mimic both the fatigue and the pain of fibromyalgia. Some specific blood work and x-rays can tell the difference. Low testosterone, both in men and in women, can absolutely mimic fibromyalgia. Some blood work will be able to tell the difference. So if you're sitting there right now saying, well, my doctor just talked to me for a while and said, oh, it sounds like fibromyalgia. Let me give you a couple of prescriptions. You're the exact person that I'm talking to. You've got to go back to your doctor and say, doc, I heard from this crazy YouTube doctor that fibromyalgia was a diagnosis of exclusion. And you didn't really check any labs or any diagnostic imaging. So you didn't really exclude anything else, did you? Other things that can masquerade as fibromyalgia, but that can quickly be diagnosed with the proper blood panels are severe anemia. Yeah, severe anemia can completely look like fibromyalgia to the uneducated doctor. Yeah, I know that that's not an oxymoron. Also, the inflammatory arthropathies and autoimmune connective tissue disorders can all masquerade as fibromyalgia. Uh, another is small fiber neuropathy, two autoimmune conditions that can masquerade as fibromyalgia are lupus and polymyalgia rheumatica. Either one of these can look exactly like fibromyalgia in the early stages and have to be ruled out with specific diagnostic tests. Another very common misdiagnosis is someone suffering from depression. You can absolutely have every single symptom of fibromyalgia but have a diagnosis of depression. And if you're taking fibromyalgia medications, instead of treating and addressing your depression, that's not gonna help a bit, is it? Two final diagnoses that can completely mimic fibromyalgia and trick a doctor who's not playing, paying close attention are sleep apnea and Lyme disease. Both of these can mimic every single symptom of fibromyalgia in the early stages and trick both you and your doctor, you wind up taking a handful of medication that's not helping your actual diagnosis at all while owning the diagnosis of fibromyalgia and everything that that brings with it. I hope this video helped you. Uh, I hope it encouraged you to make a call to your doctor or perhaps a new doctor and say, hey, let's make sure I have fibromyalgia and not something else that is currently undiagnosed. This is Dr. Berry. I'll see you next time.